Welcome to addition without exchange. You will need a math equation. It's nice to have some equations ready to go so you don't have to think of them off the top of your head. Also, it allows the child to take out the work and go right to it. I have my equations numbered so the child can keep track of the equations they have already done. It also gives the child a sense of accomplishment and pride to see how many they have done. A plus sign and a string for the equal sign. Two sets of numbers of the units, tens, hundreds, and thousands. Unit beads, 10 bars, 100 squares, and 1,000 cubes. How many is up to you? I would try to have at least 20 of the unit beads, 20 10 bars, 20 100 squares, and three to 4,000 cubes, enough so that your child can exchange a few. I will be showing this work using what Montessorians call the golden beads. The set I purchased are on Amazon. I've posted the link below. I have also created a pattern for printing off and cutting out your own golden beads. The pattern is linked below as well. Please look at my Intro to Math with the Golden Beads video to learn of other options for the golden beads set and to see the recommended order in which to teach your child the works. So here is my setup. This is a very big work for a small child to take out and to put away. So if you find that they're hesitating to do the work, that's probably the reason. I find that when I offer my students to help in the setup and to take it down, they are suddenly very enthusiastic about doing the work. Also, and this might not be practical in the home, but in our classroom, we tend to set it up on a Monday and then leave it out for the whole week because we have multiple students doing the work and it's just easier to direct them to the work when it's already set out. So here I have my equation. Now when doing addition, we go from units to thousands. But when they're setting up the equation, I like to start with the thousands because that's how we read the number, 3,464. So I need 3,000. Two thousand, three thousand. I need four hundred. One hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, sixty. And then I'm going to take my number and turn it into the complex number and put it over to the side. 3,464. And then do the same with the next equation. So now my equation should look exactly like this card. And then define addition to the child. When we use addition, this is the symbol we use. This is the plus sign. We are now going to combine the quantities. This is called addition. You start at the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then I'm going to go get the symbol number nine. Now I'm going to do the tens. One ten, two tens, three tens, four tens, five tens, six tens, seven tens, seventy, one hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred. Five hundreds, six hundreds, six hundreds, one thousand, two thousands, three thousands, 
four thousandths, five thousandths. And then again, combine the number so it's a complex number. And bring it over here. And so over here, you can see that they have now written the equation. Have the child read you the equation. 3,464 plus 2,215 equals 5,679. And extension, have the child write the equation. I like to have them write it in the same colors as the numbers, so it solidifies the decimal placement. Then have the child read the equation they wrote. You can have the child write the answer after they complete the equation or as they are doing it. Have fun!